Hey, this is Chris Menard. Today in Excel, I'm going to show you how to figure out the daily revenue, meaning Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I've got a list of data in column A, dates. I started with August 9th, just to show you this. And if I scroll down, we stopped. I stopped in November 24th. Go back to the top. And I put in some revenue numbers. So you could use this not just for revenue numbers. You could do this with number of people that visit your website. You're going to know what day of the week do I get the most people coming to my website. You could do this with people walking into your store. Check out number of people that checked out. So here we go. Two ways to do this. One's going to be the pivot table method. The other one's going to be using average if. But there's a function we need to put in here in column C. Because August 9th, 2018, I went and checked. That was a Thursday. So I need to know that it's a Thursday. So I'm going to just type in day of the week. And in C2, I'm going to use the text function. And I'm looking, text function has two arguments. The cell reference, which in my example, I'm starting with A2, comma, how do I want to format this? I'm looking for the day, so I'm going to put in 1D, August 9th, so I should get the number 9. I do. I'm going to make it 2Ds. I should get a 0, 9. Perfect. So therefore, 3Ds will be Thursday abbreviated, and the fourth D will be Thursday spelled out. So there's the text function with the letter D. The same thing applies, though, if I was to do the letter M for month. 1M would give me the number 8. 2 would be 0, 8. 3 would be August. 4 M's would be August spelled out all the way. In my example, I'm going to just go back to 3. Crosshairs, double click, auto fill it down. So it should go Thursday, Friday, Saturday, because that's the way the days of the week are running. So we did the text function. So now here are the two methods. I'm going to convert this to a table, either Control T or on the Home tab, you can go Format as a Table. I have a header row. Click OK. A1 to C109 is correct. So there's my table. I didn't have to make it a table. I do want to point that out. I just prefer a table. So now over here, I'm going to type in the word day. It's up to you whether you want to start off with Monday or Sunday or whatever day of the week. It doesn't matter. Crosshairs. There's Monday to Sunday. How much revenue did we make? I'm going to use the average if function, which has three arguments. The first argument is what range are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for MON, Monday. Where is that located? That is going to be C2 through C109. I could have referenced the entire column if I wanted to. Comma, what's your criteria? Well, I'm looking for E2, which is Monday. Comma, and here's your third argument. If you see Monday in C2 to C109, what is it you want to average? I'm going to end up auto-filling this down, so I need to make C2 to C109 absolute reference, which is the F4 function key, and B2 to B109 absolute reference. If you're on a laptop and you press the F4 key and it doesn't work, try function F4. 2869, auto-fill down. There you go. So this is showing us that Monday is actually the worst day of the week for us as far as revenue. Thursday is the best day. And let's say we were surprised. We, we assumed that Saturday was going to be the best day. So that's why this function is really cool. Let's go test this, obviously. I'm going to do a sort A to Z in column C. I'm going to highlight the Friday numbers. Down in the status bar, 4816, 4816. One more test just to make sure. Monday, 2869, 2869. So it's working. 
That was method one. Method two, I still need that text function in there, and I'm going to go to the pivot table method. Insert, pivot table, new worksheet, sounds good. Click OK. So I didn't change anything in this box. Day of the week, I'm going to check it. Revenue, I'm going to check it. Look in cell B3, it summed up the revenue, so just double click. Average, click OK. Let's test one of these. Tuesday is 32.94. 32.94. And one more test. Saturday, 4097. 4097. So there's two ways to figure out how much money you're making every day. I appreciate your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.